here is the view. And it's the original clip that we did our cold open with. This is the ladies of the view basically calling for Tulsi and Tucker to be investigated and potentially arrested. Ugh. I, but I think that's an incredibly relevant question. Yeah. And I think DOJ, in the same way that it is uh, setting up a task force to investigate oligarchs, should look into people who are Russian propagandists and shilling for Putin. That's being, if you are a foreign asset uh, to a dictator, mm -hmm. it should be investigated. In fact, I remember when Tulsi Gabbard, mm -hmm. and I even hate that we're discussing it because I think to myself, who is this woman? She's a, you know, she's no longer in Congress. She's a failed presidential candidate. Yeah. She only pr practically exists on Twitter, and the fact that we're giving her oxygen is what makes her relevant, that we're talking about her on hot topics. But on the other hand, how do you not call out something that is repeating mm -hmm. false Russian propaganda well, that has been I, brought down? They used to arrest people for doing stuff like this. If they thought you were uh, colluding with a Russian agent, if they thought you were putting out information or taking information and handing over to Russia, yeah. they used to actually investigate stuff like this and I guess now you know there seems to be no bars these people are crazy like they're legitimately crazy what is Whoopi saying they used to investigate they used to arrest you oh so we should just start investigating more people who for wrong think right um, they used to grab them and put them in jail and gulags and no trials or anything like that and that crazy Anna Navarro who is just she reeks of being just a horrible horrible person like what are you saying, Anna Navarro? What, what are you really, really saying? Yes, Tulsi Gabbard is irrelevant. She's only relevant because you talk about her on, on hot topics. Um, and she's a failed presidential candidate. Well, A, she was a congresswoman, uh, I believe a two-term congresswoman, uh, who really did uh, do something relevant during the campaign. She actually stayed in the campaign longer than anybody else uh, other than Joe Biden. The machine decided to choose Joe Biden, but Tulsi stayed and fought as long as she could. But if she's a failed presidential candidate, what are you, Anna Navarro? You've worked for a whole bunch of uh, people, political people, as a consultant who have all failed. So, so you're, you're nothing but an angry, harping, you're awful. These people, they're just awful. And these are supposedly the people who are tolerant. And they're the ones that are talking about arresting their political opponents. And on top of the fact that everything that they're talking about is based on nonsense, they're, they're saying she's parroting Russia propaganda. Here are the undeniable facts. There are 25 to 30 U.S. funded bio labs in Ukraine. According to the U.S. government, these bio labs are conducting research on dangerous pathogens. Ukraine is in an active war zone with widespread bombing, artillery and shelling. And these facilities, even in the best of circumstances, could easily be compromised and release these deadly pathogens. So in order to protect the American people, the people of Europe, the people around the world, these labs need to be shut down immediately and the pathogens that they hold need to be destroyed. Instead of trying to cover this up, the Biden-Harris administration needs to work with Russia, Ukraine, NATO, the UN to immediately implement a ceasefire for all military action in the vicinity of these labs until they're secured and these pathogens are destroyed. Now, this is not a partisan political issue. The administration and Congress need to act now for the health and well-being of every American and every person on this planet. But we just showed you that actually what she's referring to is what Victoria Nuland is admitting is real, that these bio labs exist. 